Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, when I last walked the earth, we were raised as women to be of value to men through our appearance, through our bodies, not for our minds, not for our souls. We were task oriented. And yet the training that I received was vastly different than the girls that I had grown up with, the women that I had watched and known for there were many within the communities who were not aware that they were more than their bodies. They were not aware that they were infinite, incredible beings of light and of love. They did not understand the magnitude of themselves. And for many, nothing has changed in these thousands and thousands of years, these many, many lifetime cycles. But there are the few, and beloved, you are part of this numbering who are becoming aware and are allowing yourselves to remember that you are so much more. You are not just what you are able to do for yourself or for another. You are not just makeup of the physical body that you inhabit. You are an infinite creature, a being of light, a being of love. And it is easy to forget that love is what we are. It is easy to forget that we are made of stardust. It is easy to forget that we are Christed beings when the focus and the concentration and the noise on the outside becomes our focus. Beloveds, allow yourselves to go within. Everything that you want and everything that you need is provided. What is necessary to the body is to be in nature, to truly understand the relationship with Divine Mother, to allow yourselves to receive the light, for that is what you are for you to allow yourselves to receive the water, for that is indeed what you are, for you to allow yourselves to breathe. For when you breathe, you unlock the aspect of mind that thinks that you are relegated to the bones and blood and flesh and nerves and thoughts and beliefs that you have been playing with upon this journey. When everything changes, beloveds, and the change is coming, and you are once again reminded that you are only spirit, there will be a moment of review when you are being asked, what did you learn? What did you bring back to us? Tell us of your experiences. Tell us of your travels. Tell us of your journey. Allow yourselves to become as conscious as you can the ways in which you love yourself, of the conversations that you have with the people that are closest to you. Do not allow your hearts to be hardened in any way, beloved. Soften and warm them. Hold your hearts in your hands and hold close to you as well the hearts of those whom you love. Know that you are more than the thoughts that you think so much more than the body that you have chosen to occupy and have gratitude and appreciation for this journey that you have chosen to undertake. Appreciate yourself, beloved ones. Appreciate that you chose to be here in this time and space to experience all that you do and allow yourself to release the places where you have judged yourself and say, what I am thinking is wrong, what I am feeling is wrong, the actions that I just took are wrong. 
Beloveds, what if everything is in divine perfection? And what if there was never a moment in which anything had ever gone awry? What if there was only beauty and grace to behold? Spring has sprung for many. The leaves are coming back upon the trees. The plants are coming, bursting their way back through the soil. For Mother Nature has provided codes for each of these to grow. So too do you have codes, beloveds. Codes that impel you to certain actions and thoughts and beliefs. Allow nature to take its course with you and prepare to be astounded at the results. My blessings and my love are with you always, precious and beloved brothers and sisters. For you are me and I am you. And in grace and in harmony and in our divinity, all that we ever need say to one another is, I am. I love you and I will speak with you again. <laughs>